I'm here at the Alexandra School in Spikestown, St. Peter. It's a polling station for persons voting in St. Peter. And to say that electors are frustrated is a bit of an understatement. I've spoken to a number of persons who said that they've been in line for about up to two hours, some even longer, and they're asking questions of the electoral officials here. How was the process for you? A very, 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 very slow. I can understand the, the COVID thing, but at the end of the day, to cast a vote, you shouldn't still have the text alone. They know, the, they know that it's a COVID. They should have uh, it spread out a lot better with the officials so that they can accommodate people at a six foot distance and speed up the process. What time did you get here this morning? I got here about 6.30. Okay. And it's now minutes to nine. That, 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 that is totally on. That entire time you were waiting in line? In line. It's very unsatisfactory. You've been out there so long, and I don't understand it. You got from from A to G, and then from G to Z, from H to Z. And in no time you see all those out there done and done. And you got from A to B, and that is so long. He was out there from then, after 6 o'clock, you know, get through. I don't know when you're going. You what time is it now, approximately? About near 9 o'clock. It got about 10 to 9 by now. But I don't know. Something, seems to do with some, something needs to be done with the system where it can be speeded up. Because one half is getting through so fast, and the next half, I don't know. It's just frustrating being out there so long. I never vote before where you had to stand up so long. Ridiculous. It's very ridiculous. I've been here since 7.30. Not sure what time it is now, but I find that it's a really, really long wait, and it's ridiculous. I asked what the process was going on. This is ridiculous. And if it continues continue like this today, I feel they are going to lose some votes because I know Beijing's, they are not standing up out here. They don't have patience and they're not doing this. This is ridiculous. This for the record is after, is after nine or mm. there about. You see? Mm. But I, I, I take my time and I say I'm still here. My sister have a 10 o'clock appointment and she just want to hope that she gets in there before because she don't know if she's going to come back when she's done her appointment. So, you see, all of that will be a problem because you leave home. At the, I've never dealt with anything like this. I would come out here, go in there, back out. What is the whole thing? Well, I know the hot protocols, but, you know, like, what, what, what is this? Okay, elsewhere, it appears that the voting is going relatively smoothly. We've been to the Caribbean Institute of Meteorology and Hydrology where there was a large crowd of persons but outside of that we also went to the West Terrace Primary School and we went to the St. James Secondary School. We passed the St. Albans Church where the voting seems to be quite underway very smoothly. One of the other issues that we would have encountered are a handful of persons who say that their names aren't on the electoral list at the polling station that they thought that they were supposed to go to. Um, but other than that, it seems that uh, the election is in full swing in the north and everything is going smoothly. Reporting for Barbados today, I am Kareem Smith.